Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going through SharePoint Online Admin Portal. So now let's get started. So here I'm logging in with the my Global Admin account and I'm in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'm going to click Show All. And let's click on SharePoint. It's going to take me to the SharePoint Online Admin Center. And at the, the very beginning, here's the dashboard on the SharePoint file activity reports. You can click on detail if you want to see details of this report. It only shows the last the activity for the last 30 days. And on the second pane, it has SharePoint site usage report. And at the bottom here, it's, it's the uh, message center. This is from um, the Microsoft this information here. So now I click on home. It's just taking me to the SharePoint admin center portal and if I want to click on sites it's under active site it will give you all the sites that are currently active in your tenant and on the right side here it says the 2.6 gigabyte juice of 1.39 terabyte Here's all the active sites. You can create a new site or you can export to um, CSV file, export all the sites. And if you click on the site, it's going to take you to that site, like let's say communication site. Here's the, um, the site name and the URL of the site. It gives you three tabs on the general activity, permissions, and policies. Under delete site, deleted sites, it's going to give you all the site that has been deleted. And by default, the site will retain 90 days and then permanently delete it. Let's go to policy. Under policies, there is sharing. You can configure sharing to anyone by moving this all the way up, or you can, if you want to, your users to share only with people in in organ in your organization. So you move it all the way to the bottom. So that's how you set up the um, the sharings. Also for OneDrive as well. And if you scroll down, there's files and folders. You can choose the type of links that's selected by default when use file sharing. Only people with organization, anyone with a link, or specify people only to use specific. Choose expiration and permission option for any one links. You can configure how many days will expire after the link has provided to the recipient. And the files and folder view and edit, you can change to view only or view and edit. The same for folder, view, edit, and upload, or just view only. All the settings. Shows on the name of the people view the file OneDrive. So that's all the setting here. You can play with it. The next one is the access control. With access control, you can configure only allow managed devices. And if it's unmanaged, you're gonna you want to block. You can choose that options here. Idle sessions. You can turn it off, turn it on. 
network location. You can configure allow only access from specific IP ranges, like your organization IP ranges, and enter that information here. Apps don't use modern thin don't use modern authentication. You can take that off by block access. Settings. You can configure the settings here. The default admin experience, new admin center, SharePoint notification. You can turn off, turn on notifications. Create sites. You can allow user to create SharePoint site. I right, check this box. Site storage limit. You can configure automatic. I would configure automatic. You don't have to. So that way you don't have to come in and, and configure for each site. Migrations. With the migration options, you can download the tool. Here's the download agent setup files for the migration. Or also, there's a desktop tools to migrate from SharePoint servers 2010 to 20 and 2013, and also file shares. Cloud content migration, uh, Microsoft SharePoint Online allows you to migrate all these files. I mean, all these um, third-party cloud contents. If you click on more features, there are a bunch of features that you can customize. There's a team stores, user profiles. If you click on just a team store, it's going to take you here. And you can configure that here. Um, let's see, user profiles. With user profile, you can add or remove admin for users OneDrive and disable OneDrive creation for some users and more. So there's a bunch of features here you can play with. Um, I like this one, the user profile settings. Manage subside. This, if you want to get into granular settings for SharePoint Online. And there's apps, there's BCS service, there's secure store, there's a record management. If you want to um, archive your records or data, you can choose, use this record management settings. Info path, you want to enable browser for info path. Let's click that. Allow user to browse and enable form templates. Let's go back here. Hybrid picker. Use this wizard to automate some of the step in setting up hybrid environment. Classic site collection page. You can configure that to use the uh, site collections. So that's all there is to it for SharePoint Admin Center Overview. And if you want to view OneDrive Admin Center, you can just click on Admin Center here, OneDrive Admin Center, and it takes you to OneDrive Admin Center. Let's go back here to um, Settings. Some organization, organization um, they want to disable users from creating a SharePoint site. So definitely, I recommend that to disable or yeah, disable the the settings here. You create a team site under. You can choose site, or you can choose teams. You want to choose site because of the SharePoint sites.
that's it folks um that's all i have for sharepoint admin center if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day